Hello, welcome to today's edition of the Make Me Over Ebb podcast. Today is Tuesday, April 11th, and I am here, Ebony Looney with Paige Gilbertson, and we're here to talk Hi. about stuff, makeovers, marketing, websites, business. Wow. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Just and real quick before we start, we have something that goes along really well with that. So we wanted to talk about Canva again real quick. So it's a great tool for website strategy, which is very important. You can create so much on there, graphics for your website, thumbnails for YouTube, and so on. Um, so you can learn more about that. Go to makemeoveramp.com slash Canva. Um, but also just a quick shout out to WP Astra. Uh, it makes it very easy to update websites without having to know code. So you don't have to be techie to use WP Astra, which is great. Absolutely. And today we are talking about website marketing strategy and how to create one. And here's the thing. I think a lot of business owners who I, ones that I have spoken to, they have built beautiful websites for themselves. However, um, in talking with them, there doesn't seem to be a really intentional strategy behind what they did. And that's through no fault of their own. Now, if you're like me, I usually like to just jump right in on a project you know, because I'm ready, I'm excited to get going. However, I have found that over time that it be is better, I, I get better results when I plan, when I have a strategy, um, because it makes things a little bit easier. It gives me a little bit, a lot, not a little bit, it gives me a lot more focused. And so I want to talk about the importance of a website marketing strategy. And I added marketing in there because a website on its own is just a template, beautiful, your words and stuff like that. When you have a marketing strategy behind it, then you are able to bring people to the website to market. You're using it more than just a brochure website. And so that's one of the things that I like to do with my clients is help them with their website marketing strategy. In fact, actually, one of the clients I worked with, Rashonda Pratt, who is the visibility coach, said that after talking with me, we had two tough love conversations. She said the focus, clarity, and dare I say excitement was transformative. I am well on my way of an intentional and strategic plan for my website's. Listen to Ebony Show's website, marketing. And that's the goal. I want you as a service provider, whether you're serving consumers or other businesses, I want you to have an intentional, ooh, that's a very intentional and strategic plan for your website. Because when you do, you get better results, you save time, and that's it. You get better results and you save time trying to like, instead of just, Throwing spaghetti up against the wall. All right. So you ready to get into it today, Paige? Marketing Let's strategy. <laughs> yes. Let's do it. All right. <laughs> Let's do it. So, okay. So what is marketing? You know, let's just talk about that for a second. Marketing, according to the interwebs, marketing is the activity set of institutions and processes for creating, communicating, delivering, and exchanging, exchanging offerings, right? So how do you relate that to your website? Well, your website typically will always have a home page, an about page, a service page, and a contact page, right? So if you're communicating your offerings on those page, it has to be intentional. So the first step with creating a website marketing strategy is really to understand who the website is for. Now, if you are a service-based business, like and we usually talk to people in the construction field, those who are interior designers, because they're, serv they're servicing other clients. They're providing services. The website is really for your client. Guess what? If you are servicing, if you have a consumer-based business and you're selling product, then the website is, guess what? For your client. So anything, any words, images that are on the home about service and contact page should be put in a way that will appeal to the people you want to buy from you. So that means that the website is not about you. It's really about them. And so you have to ask yourself, what do your clients want to know about you? 
How do you figure that out? Well, you have to go ask them. So I would, I always say, I suggest go ask your last five best clients what they needed from you and what problem you helped them solve specifically. And then using that information, you, with the help of a copywriter or just another coach like myself, can help you come up with the words to actually put on the website on those pages to speak directly to them. And a lot of times we use the words that they use. So once you understand the who, then you can understand what you actually need to put on the home about service contact contact page, right? So typically the home page is usually a summary of everything that your business. Well, I, yeah, it's a summary of what you're what you're offering, right? What your business is about is a snapshot. It's like if someone came into the front door lobby of your office building, they get an idea of what your company is about. It needs to speak directly to them. Your about page will have more in-depth information of your company's story, the, your shareholders perhaps, um, maybe a video about who you guys are a little bit more in-depth and more specifically um, how to get in touch with you. You can kind of really go all out or have a little bit on that page. Now, of course, your services page would talk about your services. Now, this is the part where people usually mess up is that they talk about their services of like all the things they do, but they don't talk about the results that those things bring those clients. And of course, your contact page typically is just your information, more detailed on how to contact um, you got your company, your uh, service department, your um Sales department, if you have multiple departments or just one, sometimes it can have a contact form. Right? Okay, so there you have it. You know the what, which you can actually put on the pages to speak to your audience. But here's the thing. Why? The why part. The why part of your website marketing strategy. Well, why do you want to put this information on the page? Now, this is where it does take a little bit more thinking and forethought to ask yourself, well, after my ideal client finds my site or goes to my site and they land on one of those pages, the basic pages, what, what else do I want them to do? Why are they really here? Right. And so I'm going to say that's why. Why are they here? Why are they here? Well, typically your clients or prospects are coming to find out who you are. But here's the thing. After they get there, what do you want them to do? So, hmm, that may take some time. Do you want them to call you, book an appointment, fill out a form, download a, a freebie? And then after they do that, then what's the next step of that? So understanding why your client or prospect is coming to you will help you understand your website marketing strategy. Now, typically, your clients are coming to you to find out who you are, and they are on a journey. Now, once you understand what, journey, what step of the journey they're on, they are on, excuse me, then you can kind of do the next step. But we, we're just talking about a very basic level right here, understanding why. So... You may be sitting, if you're listening to this and you're like, well, Ebony, I'm not a website person and I'll do website marketing. Well, here's the deal. Yes, you do. And you need to learn. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. You need to learn because it's your business. Okay. It's your business and you need to understand website marketing. I didn't talk about website design. We're talking about website marketing strategy. Right. Because if you don't understand this, it's not going to get the results that you want. And it's okay to sit down with somebody to help you do that. But here's the thing. Go ask five of your last clients and be like, hey, what do you need from me? Where are you at on your journey? How long did it take you to find me? What was you doing? You know, you kind of basically you're communicating with your clients. So I don't know if you see a trend here. Your client should drive your website marketing strategy. Mm -hmm. It should about, be focused on them. Yeah. Yes. It's mm -hmm. about them. It's about them. It's about them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and going going back to something you said earlier too about like designing the website so that it appeals to them. I mean, obviously mm -hmm. you should you should like your own website. You sh it should reflect who you are. But yeah, primarily, sure. primarily that is for your potential clients, people that you want to have as 
as your client. Yeah. This is true. This is true. So, excuse me. So with that in mind, it has a whole lot to do with them. So, you know, what do we talk about? The what? The why? The how? Oh, now the how, the how piece, the how piece, the how piece, the how piece. So how to create. So basically you're going to take all this information about your client, what they want, where they are on the journey, and you're going to come up with a strategy and it could be something very simple, right? We're not going to get too deep here. We're not, we can get deep on another, another podcast, video, webinar, whatever, or you guys can um, actually schedule a website review (laughs) with me and make me ebb.com slash book. And then we can uh, talk through this, but really just, you know, honestly, I just want to just simply just say, you can take out a piece of paper and really think about what is the purpose of your website that you want people to do. If you want people to buy book a call and every single page on the website should be, uh, should have a reason for it, should have the next step for them to do. It all starts with understanding who your client is. It's really about them. And the more you understand what they want, the more likely they will do the things that you want on your website for your business. All right. So here's the other thing. We did talk about the definition of marketing, of course, communicating, delivering. Now that's after somebody actually gets there, right? So we have to ask ourselves the question, of course, with marketing, well, how do we get them there? Now, there's a couple of ways to do it. You can drive people there by telling them, posting on social media, sending out emails, sending out business cards, hey, go to my website, make me overapp.com. Go to my website, whatever your website is. You're going to have to tell them somehow, right? That's one way. The other way of driving them to the website is through using technology as a driver. So that means that the words that you put on your site, if you format them or put them in a way so that when somebody is searching on Google, a question that your website is likely to come up. Now the expert thing that we're talking about is basically, basically building a search engine optimization strategy as part of your website marketing strategy. But it does not stop with those five, those four pages that we mentioned. It actually continues on with your blog articles that you write on the site. So one of the key things I also think you should add to the marketing strategy is putting content, new, fresh content on your website every single week that relates to your clients, possibly answers their questions, or gives a perspective as that your perspective of your business, your brand, your messaging that helps the people that you are seeking to do business with, or some people say that you are seeking to serve. Now, some companies do blog posts as ways of like tutorials. Some use their blog um, or articles as news updates, things that are happening within the company. And so what that does, if you're posting once a week, once a week, it sends a signal to Google, like, oh, there's fresh content or whatever search engine they're on. But we're talking about Google because most people, a lot of people use that. It sends a signal to say, hey, there's fresh content here, which also gives you a reason to let your people, prospects, and current clients know, hey, I got some new content here. I have some new information, some new updates. That's a part of marketing strategy because you want them on your website so that you can sell your services or get them to do the thing that you need them to do. And you have to think about that first. Now, Full disclaimer, what Paige and I are doing for the Pick Me Over Ebb website is that we decided that we're going to record a podcast live every week, stream it to LinkedIn, stream it to YouTube, and after the show, we post the podcast audio uh, that we have through Spotify, and we put it on the website as a blog post update. Mm -hmm. So every week, this is our quick way to get fresh content on the website. And I've, uh, and I'm doing that because a, it's part of my website marketing strategy to drive people to the website. Help me show up in Google. It has full of SEO rich words, which we can pull from the transcript of this podcast. I'm bleeding toward the microphone, but anyway, 
<laughs> no, it's yeah. it's SEO is so important. It really is. All those keywords, you need them. Yeah, and you're probably gonna naturally say them if you're well, we're gonna naturally say them as we're doing the podcast, as we're doing the video. So this also gives us a chance to actually embed the video code on our website from YouTube, which also helps as well. This is, so recording this live every week on LinkedIn in YouTube using StreamYard, by the way, helps us with our website marketing strategy. And it's simple, because we can take the audio, from, excuse me, we can take the transcript from this and turn it into text post. Mm -hmm. All right, so there it is. How to create a website marketing strategy. And the summary is to get to know your clients, who they are, what you want them to do and decide on the way, particularly using your all the pages plus your blog feature, which WordPress helps you do that, but whatever platform you want, um, so that you can post fresh content every week that will appeal to them so they can ask when they're asking questions organically from Google or you're giving people a reason to come back to your site every single week so that they can see not only what you're offering, but you're just, you know, have them, I guess, window shop, like you go into a store and then until they're ready to buy, but get to know your client. So anyway, that's our show today, how to create a website marketing strategy. I like to keep it very simple. Talked a little bit about SEO, but if you want to get a website review with me, with our team, schedule a review here at makemeovereb.com com slash book. You may not need a website makeover, but I guarantee you, you need a website strategy. So even if you've worked with a previous website designer before and your website is gorgeous, that's fine, but you need a website strategy moving forward, darling. All right. So anyway, that's our show today. And of course, Paige mentioned, who did you mention earlier? the brands. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> that mentioned Canva and WP Astra. Yep. That's right. They should be mm -hmm. a part of your website marketing strategy. So anyway, that's our show today. You guys, Um, you know, we'll post this to the website Make Me Over Ebb sometime today, but feel free to leave a comment on, um, you know, here at LinkedIn or YouTube or wherever you are listening to this at and leave a review of our podcast. And thank you for listening. I appreciate you. And uh, thank you. Part, thank you for being a part of my website marketing strategy and listening to the show. So right. we are, hold on. I just got to click the thing. We are out. Bye. Bye. <laughs>